So the first thing we need to do to be able to program EV3 devices or the Mindstorm with Python is to set up EV3 Python onto an SD card which we will boot our EV3 brick into so that we can be able to control the actuators and to also read values from the sensors. My name is Edward Pai and I'm happy to guide you on this process. Now, to get started, go to Google and search for EV3 Python. And you'll see this first link that is for the Lego Education website. If you click on it, you, go, you come to this page where they talk about how to program in Python with your EV3. The first thing we need to do is first of all to download an image which we will burn onto an SD card. So go ahead and click EV3 Micro Python SD card image. Now, as I click on this, it has started downloading. I'm going to take you to another site and explain to you um, another project called EV3 Dev and how it is related to this EV3 Micro Python SD card image. So, if you go to ev3dev.org, you realize that EV3 Dev is a Debian Linux based operating system that runs on several Lego Mindstorm compatible platforms. So basically what the ev3dev.org people do is to provide us a Linux kernel that runs on your Mindstorm devices and Mindstorm compatible devices. So for example, you have the Lego Mindstorm, we have the Raspberry Pi powered Brick Pi. So both platforms are able to run this ev3 dev Debian Linux based operating system. Now, the EV3 dev Debian based operating system comes with the regular Python that we know. However, the Python that we are downloading from Lego is called MicroPython. And the relationship between what we are downloading here and what is available on this page is that the one from Lego Mindstorm actually depends on EV3 dev. And the difference is because EV3 Dev is giving you the entire Python programming language and its environment on your Mindstorm, sometimes depending on what you are doing, you realize that it gets slow. But MicroPython is a trimmed down version of the Python programming language that is has been tailor-made to be suitable for embedded devices. And so this MicroPython depends on EV3 Dev. So when you install the MicroPython SD card image from Lego Mindstorm, you are essentially also getting what is made available by EV3 Dev. And as a matter of fact, for this course, we will use the APIs that comes with EV3 Dev for every robotic implementation that we do. Okay, so now that our image is ready, we need to start burning it onto an SD card. And to do that, we need another software called Etcher. So you come to balena.io and you download and install Etcher, which I already have. And then you need to take your micro SD card and place it in an SD card adapter if the SD card slot on your computer is not big enough or is not small enough for that, then you need an adapter. Now you insert your SD card into um, whatever SD card slot you have on your computer and over here You can see that I have downloaded the image So this is the image that I downloaded EV3 MicroPython, okay? So the next thing we do is to open the Etcher software Yes, so this is how the UI of the Etcher software looks like the first thing you need to do here is you click on this um, from file and it's going to open a window from which you select the image that you want to burn. So mine is called EV3 Python, Micro Python, yeah. So you select this and the next thing is you select your target SD card. I have a 32 gig SD card inserted in there. You click select and finally you click flash. Depending on your operating system, it's going to ask you to enter your password because it needs some administrative rights. You do that, you click OK, 
and this is how the process of writing the SD card image onto your SD card is done. So I'm going to pause here and when it is done I'll show you how you can boot into your new EV3 Micro Python environment on your Mindstorm brick. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.